Today we're going to try to answer the age-old question of how fast does a sling bullet have to go to go a certain distance. So I'm out here in the hills in a nearby park to try to answer that question. Uh, that, I don't know if you can see it, but that clump of trees out that way is about 240 meters. I can range it after we, if we can actually see where these things land. Uh, and it's it's zero degrees uh, of elevation gain. So let's see how it goes. I've, I've got my radar gun down there. Hopefully the camera can see it. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's try it out. Uh, I've also got three different slings, a seat belt sling, 30 inches, uh, Egyptian sling, about 27, 28 inches, and a Balearic style 24 inch sling. And I've got two bags of rocks. I weighed them out. This one is uh, between 70 and 80 grams, and the other one is between about 45 to uh, 59 grams. So I'm just, just shy of 60. Um, so yeah, we can calculate the energy uh, of the release and try to correlate that to distance. Hopefully, hopefully we can see where these land. Try it out. Okay, I've got a, about a 50 gram rock. Let's show you what they look like. They're all these were from landscape a landscaping company, so they're all pretty nice and smooth, egg shaped. We have some cyclists, so I'm gonna wait. Grand. No. Hopefully this thing picks it up. You gotta angle it at 45. I didn't hear anything. I don't think it picked it up. Try that again with a 50 gram stone. Probably on the high side, 59 ish, 58. I was shy of the trees, probably 20 meters. Try again. That was 123 miles an hour if you couldn't see it. Thirty. That's as high as that thing goes. Uh, I, I don't think it made the trees. Honestly, I can't tell. It's probably another twenty. <laughs> Last one was twenty. This one's twenty. I have no idea. Maybe one of these will show up, and I'll be able to tell you. I heard it hit. No idea where it hit. Yeah, I have no idea. Topped out 130 again. So 50, that's about 58.3 meters per second, and I'm not going 250. So I think I've got a slight headwind, but maybe we'll try 70 gram rocks in a second. Let's try this a couple more times. Yeah, 
was that was terrible. 130, but terrible trajectory. One more, and then we'll go switch to 70 grams. I, I, I think that might have made that little, uh, uh, the, 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 the dirt, the little triangle, triangle of dirt, I think. I'm going to range it and see what that is. Again, that was topped out at 130. That was a clean release, though, that time. That was the important part. Let's see. That was two. Okay, so that dirt triangle from where I was slinging is 253. I don't know if I made it or not. I I always think they go further than they actually do when I'm slinging into a lake, so probably not. So uh, I'll do I'll do a couple more. I'm gonna stop it. I need to do a couple more. Okay. Uh, one more time, I guess, or one more set of 50 gram rods. That was 126. That was a bad release. Side hill's a little annoying. I'd like to get something flatter, but it's the best I got. Yeah, I can't see where they're hitting. Well, this is fun, so we'll just keep going until I can. Didn't carry a bag of rocks three miles for nothing. Yeah, I just can't tell where they're hitting. That was 130 again, so these small rocks, you know, you can accelerate them pretty good. <clears throat> Okay, that was 130. I think it hit about 10 meters shy of the dirt patch. So yeah, I guess this isn't that useful because it's topping out at 130. So even if I do hit some particular distance, we won't know if it actually went faster than 130 or same distance. So I guess I'll go to heavier rocks to uh, Maybe slow it down a bit. Maybe we'll get a better read. Oh yeah, the uh, since I'm behind the camera now, I can see the uh, dirt patch I'm talking about. Maybe this will work. Is it right there? That dirt patch right there is two. What did I say? Two fifty ish. Uh, from where I'm slinging at, and it's this third tree, which I, from where I was slinging, I, I was I think it was. 243 
the third tree over, which is zero degree of elevation gain. So the dirt patch is like one degree down. Uh, but yeah. Let's try 70 gram. So I'm hammering on these pretty hard just to get the speed. I'll try uh, slowing down too and see if I can get the uh, little bit cleaner release and see if we can get it to go further. I think I saw it. Yeah, that one was about 10. Well, it's hard to say from here. Actually, let me, let me range it and see if I can figure out how far it actually went. Okay, that was 233 if it actually was the spot I thought it landed. So that's about two degrees down probably. I keep missing it. I, that one I just saw all the way and I lost it the last bit. That was 126. So we're just about where we want to be with the radar gun. So we're not topping it out, but we're getting pretty good speeds. Oh, that's so frustrating. I thought I could, I thought I was going to see where that one landed. That was super short. Let me get it high enough. Yeah, I just turned the camera a little bit. Uh, you get to see the cyclists. Uh, I think I'm gonna start aiming a little bit to the right where there's more dirt. Hopefully I can see a puff of dirt. Um, so there's this, uh, whoops, there's this kind of dirt right here. There, it ranges from the closest where the, you know, right there is about 220 to kind of the top of the hill is about 250. Uh, or actually it's a little game trail. I don't know if it shows up on camera. Um, top of the hills further, but so that kind of middle section from the top of, so the, let me see if I can use my finger here. Top of the hill to the dirt, in between that is 250. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, we're gonna stop and wait for these, all these cyclists come in bursts it seems. Okay. Looks like they're finally almost all out of here. I notice I, I was always hitting uh, over here, but I didn't throw, even though I wasn't ever hitting over here, just in case, you don't want to hit anybody. That would be really bad. Okay, so still 70 gram rocks. Gonna aim a little bit to the right, see how it goes. So 
still couldn't see it. 124. Give up, give up on this adventure. Try it in the lake or something. Maybe put some buoys out in the lake. I don't know. Or wait till it's drier. I don't know. The ground here is pretty hard. I don't think it'll make a puff of dust. Hella short. That was really short. I probably, I don't even think that went 200. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're not even getting, getting there. I don't know. That was only 124 though, so. I'm gonna try to aim higher. I always lose it right before it hits. I lose it. I think that one went over that little gully. That that patch of dirt's a little gully, and I think it went over that. But... Try that again. Aiming high seems to work better. I think I've been aiming too low. I could hear it. How, the, based on how loud that was, I think it hit the the front dirt patch like 20, so that's 320, I think. I, I can it doesn't make a puff of dust that's big enough. I kind of look, I try to look where I think it's going and then I lose it. Do they just need glasses? So that was 124. I, I think I know where it hit. Honestly, I'm basing it on sound, not, you know, visual. Yeah, I, I think it hit about 220. I don't know, I think that's a pretty safe bet actually. 125-ish miles per hour. With the, with the right release angle, good spin, you go about 220. I think that's that's fair, but we'll try a few more. Oh, that cyclist got to wait. All righty, I'm gonna. Do a couple more with 70 and then go back to 50 and just see if we can see where they hit. Uh, yeah, not to worry too much about the speed.
124. They're going over 200, pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, last few attempts, just with 50. Just gonna see where they go. I gotta say, it's a little disappointing. I thought I'd be able to see these things land better. I pulled out seven, seven throw. Except for that one, that one sucks. All right. I get two fifty. Verified two fifty. just shy of the tree. I was hoping I'd hit the tree and then I could hear it. <clears throat> At least have some sort of confirmation. Maybe that's what I should aim at, just the tree. I'll try to hit the tree. It landed in the shade. I don't know. I have no clue. I thought I hit the trees that time. Nope. Sounded a little bit higher up on the hill. But, you know, that's my probably bias. Just more wishful thinking. I think I'm getting like 230 ish. That was 130. I honestly don't think I'm going much higher than 130 if I am getting any higher than 130. So, you know, 58 meters per second. Maybe a little bit higher, maybe 59. Sometimes. I'm pretty positive that landed in the middle of the shade. Which is... No, oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that says 260. There's no way that happened. <laughs> hitting and they sound like they're just shy of the tree like maybe you know 10 meters or so 10 15 20 i don't know you know it's a pretty big range for audible sounds I'm trying to judge where they came from Two more at 
hit 70 and I'm done. All we learned today is that we still don't know. Go off. Maybe we'll just try bezing. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the spin helps, but let's try this. That was only 121, so I think the spin does help me get a little bit extra. Maybe 70 gram rocks. I was hitting like, you know, like 25. I think the timing is just slightly different when I get the spin going. I saw that one. Oh, that was like a meter short of the tree. Finally. That one I saw for show. I saw it hit the bank right next to the, or I saw it bounce off the bank right next to that second tree over on the second tree from the left. Let's range that. That was 129 miles per hour. Two forty four and it says minus one degree. That was a seventy gram rock. So I think it, you know they carry better than the fifty gram. Let's try it again. Got two forty five. Yeah, the tree's at two forty five, so the you know, 240, so 240, 240, 129 miles an hour, 240. So yeah, you know, 58 meters per second gets you 240 meter, you know, meters ish. I, I mean, I have no idea what the angle is, was on that, but it was approximately optimal. So, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I would say 220 ish from, if you get, you know, into the, 120 miles per hour range, probably, maybe. I mean, you know, it really depends on how well you spin the projectile when you release it. It's a clean release. That one's a good release. That one felt good. It flew straight. Uh, you know, it was good speed on it. Uh, got 245 with a 70 gram projectile. 58 meters per second. 129 miles per hour. Yeah. Okay, I, I guess I'll just stop talking. I might do some extra stuff afterwards, but I'm going to stop it there. I, I was going to do more slings, but my art, I mean, I was throwing too hard. My elbow kind of hurts. So we'll do a couple with my Balearic style sling. So it's the shortest one and see, I guess just see how fast I can sling with a shorter sling, lighter projectile. Be one easy one to get adjusted. One hundred eight miles per hour. That was one hundred and eight with a seventy gram. These are going not very far. <laughs> uh, that was 103. One more. One hundred eleven miles per hour. I don't know where it landed. One hundred eleven. That was actually a pretty good release on that one. I would say sub 200 probably. Definitely. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs>
Oh, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll try to put it through the rangefinder so you know I'm not lying. I, I, this might not work very well, but we'll, we'll try it. So, tripod sitting where I was standing. It's gonna be a little cockeyed. Hopefully I can get this pointed right. Okay, Let's see if I can do this. This is gonna be hard. Yep, yep, it's gonna be hard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be do this steady enough. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this. Okay, to know, to know I'm not lying, I moved the camera to the, uh, my tripod to the location I was slinging. Actually, I think my foot was a little, fat, a little further forward. There we go. Okay, so this is where I was slinging. I'm gonna try to get this. Where are we? That's not where we are, there we are. So 246, you can see zero degree. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's zero, so it's probably somewhere in between. So yeah, I'll go see if I can find the stone. Okay, we're gonna go see if we can find it. So hopefully this will fast forward just fine. I have to go around. But check myself for ticks. Good thing I didn't bring my dog. He'd been bored anyway. Maybe I can make it. And yeah, there is a lake too, but uh, since I don't know the distance. Okay, there's our trees. You can hear me breathing hard, apologize. There's a tree it's supposedly apparently hit next to. Hopefully I'll find it. I'm gonna turn off the camera, catch my breath. Oh, okay. Guys, I think I found it. I don't know for sure because I found a stone. That's one of the ones I slung, slang, slinged. Uh, hopefully I can find it again. Uh, there it is. So there's the tree. And my stone is right down here. I didn't touch it. So there's the stone, this guy. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the 70 gram ones. I'll, I, I'm, I'm positive that's a 70 gram stone. Uh, there's the tree. So I'm about, I'm about 10 meters shy, but I honestly think it rolled down that far. Uh, you know, it hits with, you know, it went pretty high. So it hit the ground pretty hard and, and probably rolled. Um, just given, also given how close I, I saw it. But either way, 
this is still like 235 uh, meters. Uh, you know, I was slinging from uh, uh, this hilltop right here. Um, so, you know, either way, 230. Let's see if I can turn this around. Uh, can I do that? Let's turn around here. Uh, so yeah, 235-ish meters for 129 mile an hour throw. Between that and two, 245, not, you know, that's, that's a pretty good error bar. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so yeah, hope we, uh, hope you all learned something. So I just did a range finder on that and it was 7.6 meters to the tree. So minus six meters, seven meters. So yeah, we're still 240-ish or dang close. So there we go.